Hello, beautiful Aquarius. We're here with a past, present, and future love reading for you. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Aquarius. Welcome, everyone. Hope everyone's doing well. And welcome new visitors. And welcome back to beautiful subscribers. Your overall energy for the recent past and love is the Emperor card. What a start. Whoa, Aquarius, what beautiful energy for you in the recent past. The star card, hopes and dreams for love coming true. The emperor taking command of your life, leveling up to the highest level possible. And we have the queen of cups, mutually driven love relationship. You are in a very happy situation in the past recently. Let's see what the current energy is for you, Aquarius. This is an exciting reading. As a tarot reader, I love readings like this. Oh my God. Okay. The moon card is Pisces energy. Aries, Aquarius. Here you are in your reading, Aquarius. Welcome, welcome. Queen of Cups is Cancerian energy. Uh, the um, moon card is Pisces energy. So you could be dealing with any of those signs. Okay. Let's see what else we have. A victory is assured. Six of Wands. Pisces energy is when you, the moon energy is like you're kind of unclear about something. That you really don't know what's going on in a situation. It's sort of like smoky trails, what you can't see at night. Okay, so let's see what else is in the current energy for you. What else is in the current energy for our beautiful Aquarius friends? Let's see. Six of Cups. Oh my gosh. Six of Cups is reunion energy. It's Six of Cups is all about the sweetness of the past, enjoying nostalgic moments, having a good time. Very emotional Scorpio energy. Six of Wands is Leo energy of success, really having a victory. So the Two of Wands says that you are at a crossroads that you are looking at your options you're trying to figure out we have the moon card again in the moon card so the two of wands is what do i not know uh, that i need to know to make a decision to decide which trail to follow on my path to love let's see three of cups energy one of my favorite cards three of cups is such sweet energy it's all about it's like when you say i want to marry my best friend uh, it's also the bridesmaids at a wedding. When you get the Ace of Pentacles with the Three of Cups, it oftentimes means an engagement. And it's not, I don't see it that often, which is really kind of cool because it makes it more valid. The Sun card, oh my God, Leo energy. You are choosing happiness. You want to be with somebody who feels like a best friend. And so let's look at what the Moonology Oracle is telling you about the underlying information that you need about this reading so we're going to ask spirit give us clear and divine messages for our beautiful aquarius about the moon card and about what they need to know in this reading okay so what are the the issues at hand that you're going to discuss a win-win outcome is forecast even though you don't really know exactly where the two of you are going right now there's some question you're planning for the future but you are collaborating so let's see what else we have a commitment is being tested okay so i think that that's the that's the energy of this moon card is you're not quite sure what the what your person is feeling and you're sensing it emotionally, but you, you're you not really sure what's going on with them. I do have them very, very optimistic for you, though. Let's see here. Let's see. The Emperor energy, beautiful energy, really feeling in your power in a beautiful relationship. Highly satisfying. The Fool card, you took the leap of faith, and it worked out for you. So that's great energy. That is very innocent, sweet you know, divine kind of energy. It's having the courage to strike out in a leadership role for your love life. So when you met this person, you may have just met them and you may have really been the impetus to the start of the relationship. The Nine of Cups energy is clarifying. Eat, drink, be merry, have fun, laughter, joy. Uh, you really, really enjoy your person. I mean, when you're together, the two of you can laugh. I mean, you really have similar goals, similar principles. The Fool card in this, excuse me, the Fool card with the Nine of Cups is a fool for love, a fool for happiness. Well, that's what the Fool should be about, right, at the end of the day. 
The Queen of Cups is deep love. Okay, so we have the Death card. So there is a transformation about love that's taking place. I don't know yet whether, you know, what that means, but let's look further into this energy. Why is a Death card here? And we just had a card go flying. We have the Queen of Cups clarifying the Queen of Cups. All right, so the Queen of Cups. Why is a Death card with the Queen of Cups? What is that about? Seven of Coins. Okay, so both of you, I mean, it shows that th you're going through a transformation as a couple. The love is there for both of you because you have two Queens of Cups, okay? So this is your energy. This is the other person's energy. And it does look like transformation is happening. The Death card is not a bad card. I, I like it. If you want the Death card to know what the Death card means on a very practical level, you rip out the old kitchen, you take it to the studs, and you build a whole new one. Seven of Coins. You guys are both invested in rebirthing or redoing or like moving to a different city or you know just really having a, a brand new beginning in love and you're both highly invested in it the moon card in the current energy says you both want let's see why it's here why is the moon card here the seven of swords so there's some situation that is unknown at this time seven of swords says that you both have fear it is really a fear of the unknown that if you make a mistake that you could have been a, a tricky situation. Why else is the Seven of Swords here? The Moon card is clarifying the Moon card. This has been happening all week this week. Why is the Moon The clarity is that there is no clarity. Is there deception is the question right now. So there is something that you're questioning, Aquarius. The Lover's card. Okay, so for some of you, again, this is a card of choice, and this is a card of choice. So what you're trying to figure out right now is does your lover have another lover? Does your, your lover think you might have another lover? But it also indicates that you are with a soulmate right now, and it really, we need more information. Please, Spirit, give us more information. The Eight of Coins. So you are both invested in the relationship. You're both working on it. The Knight of Wands energy. So that is player energy, though. <sighs> Interesting. Sagittarius energy. Let me look at this. Okay, so Sag. We have investment. Knight of Wands is there that can represent a lot of freedom in a relationship that is very loving. The Lover's card with the Moon with the Seven of Swords says that there is something that you don't know that could hurt you. It's possible. Okay. And it can be vice versa energy. It can mean that your person's wondering the same thing. Oops. Why do we have the Six of Wands here for our beautiful Aquarius friends? We have a victory by making a small offer, a small suggestion. Page of Pentacles energy can also be a child but it really is the beginnings of making plans. So why, what's the victory in this planning stage? What is the victory? What is the victory? We have three of cups having fun. Three of cups is next to the three of cups. So now we have the victory. You have a very deep level friendship with your lover. Your, your friends and lovers, and that's very clear. You give each other a lot of freedom it also looks like you could be in a situation where you trust each other so much that you you do not, even though you feel uncomfortable, sometimes you still extend that trust outward. That's that star card. That's kind of like, I trust you so much that even though you could be deceptive, even though you could have a lover, I'm going to... You know, we're still going to give each other this freedom because we're really dear friends. So the King of Wands is clarifying the Six of Cups. King of Wands energy, Leo energy, really powerful. Leo energy has, Leo is the Leo King has a lot of pride. And it really speaks to the fact that you have a lot of pride about how beautiful your relationship is. You really feel quite fortunate and you want this person in your life. It's commitment. Page of Wands energy throwing caution to the winds queen of pentacles very down to earth practical and you know what you kind of just ignore anything that's negative 
I just get that, you know, it's kind of the hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil card. And what do we need to know? Knight of Cups, really loving, very romantic, very fiery relationship. I'm not going to let these two, this set of cards go. I'm going to really dive, dive deeply, <laughs> if I could speak English, which is my only language, I'm going to really dig into this further. So let's go here and see what the two of wands is what is the decision you have to make the four of cups how satisfied you are in the relationship what this is telling me aquarius is that your relationship you're you're wondering right now if your relationship is all that it seems because you're feeling a certain level of like boredom which happens after a period of time so why do we have the Four of Cups? Why are you feeling a bit like you have to make a decision? What is this decision about your happiness that you need to make? The Tower card, ooh, a radical change. Building a better foundation, making a different choice. So why do we have the Tower card? Temperance, okay. So you're having a tower moment with the realization that you're going to have to take your time, you're going to have to be patient, that you need to infuse your relationship with more happiness, with more passion to make it fun again. The hanged man says you're not quite sure Pisces energy how to do that. You're looking at things from a different perspective. I feel as though you've been really divine partners for a long time. You love each other dip, deeply, but you're feeling more like you're in a friendship now than having an actual lover. And you're wondering if it's because your lover may have taken your lover may have taken another lover. Knight of Swords energy, you are seeking the truth. I love it. That's what you should be doing. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Seven of Wands energy. You're defending, you know, you're defending your happiness. Whatever choices you make are going, you're going to make sure that you have your happiness. You're just not going to allow anything to really unravel you, no matter what it is. Very, again, this beautiful Leo energy down here with the star card. It's a very beautiful relationship with that star card, the Hierophant. So the Hierophant says that you are undecided right now about whether you want to get married. Um, why is the Hierophant clarifying the Three of Cups? Page of Swords. So it does look like you've seen something on social media and you're wondering if your lover has taken a friend as a lover and if that has dampened the passion in your relationship, which, you know, we all think that. I mean, we all wonder, we all worry. You know, we see those situations and we always, you know, we can think on the dark side, but okay. So the Page of Swords is clarified, you know, this information is clarified, giving up a burden, not carrying the burden. You really want to be madly in love. You're going to have a rebirth in love. You're moving forward towards it. You have fire in your belly to do it. You do feel as though you have to overcome a certain coldness that's taken place. You're holding on to the relationship. So you're going to try to infuse a new energy that's very passionate, very happy in the relationship good for you i mean that's a decision you're making you're trying to figure out what do i do now i have these questions i kind of don't know what the truth is so what steps will i take what decisions will i make and it's very clear that you're holding on to the relationship and you're taking responsibility and accountability for the level of satisfaction and happiness the sun card's the happiest card in the deck and we do see a win-win outcome is forecast your commitment is being tested and again i i'm beginning i really feel as though you're just feeling very vulnerable right now okay the sun card why is it here why is the sun card here we have the five of wands okay sparring with each other after a period of rest and relaxation it does look like you have you might be on you might have different opinions about something but the two of you take some time out together the magician card you have all the tools to have the happiness you want with your person tell us more about this we have the empress you're coming in as the empress card beautiful energy for you aquarius aquarius so so now what i'm going to look at is i'm going to i'm going to do a couple of things here 
right now I'm going to look at the advice from the um, the shaman's dream oracle. What should you do? And then we're going to look into. Well, I'm going to do a separate spread to see if your lover is cheating. Okay, because though it's worrying you. You know, you also love the relationship and you love the friendship and you, you just need answers. But you're invested in it. You're in it to win it no matter what. So let's see. What is the advice from the Dream Shaman's Oracle? Shaman's Dream Oracle. Deep quiet, meditation, and stillness. Now remember, that's next to the win-win card. So you're keeping very calm. You're really, you've built up such a beautiful relationship that you do have a lot of really smart trust. There's there's a lot of good reasons to feel as though this could be, you know, just an uncomfortable moment and versus a, a true situation. Okay, so falling, falling angel, spiritual narcolepsy, which is, so the spiritual element in your relationship feels tattered. It doesn't feel like it's there. It feels as though the two of you have fallen into, you know, very simple habits of having been together for a long time. And so now you're wondering, like, what's the next step? One more card, please, for what's going on so that Aquarius can have their win-win forecast. Okay, let's see. Deep dive, diving into a task. Okay, so you're very busy right now. You're doing your own thing. You're really keeping yourself in good mental shape. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to ask if your lover's having an affair. Okay, it's an awkward thing, but since we have a win-win... You know, let's see what the what the truth of the situation is here with all this energy that you're questioning if they could um, have somebody. So does, tell us spirit, does Aquarius lover have uh, an affair going on? Queen of Swords, you know the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. The Knight of Cups energy, somebody sweet and romantic. We see the Queen of Cups again. You both love each other, okay? So even though both of you are very discerning, especially you, Aquarius, with that Queen of Swords energy, you're staying very aloof, very intellectual. You're looking at the facts. The Queen of Cups energy says that your person is in love with you. Oh, you're the Queen and King of Cups. I'm Pentacles. Well, the Queen of Cups and the King of Pentacles. So it really speaks to the fact that your person is highly invested in you. And I'm getting the Hanged Man. So those cards indicate there is no affair going on. Uh, I don't see any deception. I just see the two of you sort of in this uh, period of stagnation. And you just need new growth in the relationship. So that's what I'm seeing for you. Aquarius, it's a beautiful win-win reading. Empress energy, sun energy is your outcome. Good for you for staying calm, cool, and collected, focused on yourself, and having this very, very beautiful spiritual belief in the relationship. Take care, Aquarius. Thanks for watching. I so appreciate you.